Hey, what's up YouTube? Name is Gonzo, first time making a video, so just bear with me. I just recently bought a house uh, about a month ago. Um, I've been doing some projects around the house and I noticed on one of my kitchen door cabinets, uh, the hinge was uh, loose um, and I looked into it and it's pretty much because these uh, plastic dowels are stripped. Um, it's not your typical wood screw, so uh, I'll show you later what I'm talking about. So this, this is the screw and it goes into these plastic dowels. Um, and this is your hinge right here. So, um, I'm not a professional. You could use it as a guidance a reference and we'll go right into it. This one belonged to there, so I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, and these are the screws, the size screws. It's the screw, it's not like your typical wood screw. So let's see. So this is what I'm talking about. This is uh, the plastic dowel that goes in these holes right here. And the way to remove them, what I did is uh, I grabbed this screw and pretty much I drilled it in there and kind of like pull on it with these pliers. So I'll show you right now how I did that. Um, but pretty much, this is what it is. I I'm, I'm gonna replace these, because what happened was uh, uh, these screws were stripping in there and they need to be replaced, so. So here we go. Uh, I have this uh, my little drill bit and I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. So as you can see, it has these uh, plastic dowels. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and take that out. Just give me a sec. So, I don't know if they have a, a specific tool for these, to remove these um, plastic dowels. But I just kinda like, Pull on it, you see, and they come right out. So, so our second one, you don't want to screw it all the way far in um, because then you don't want to have it go all the way to the other side of the door and damage it. So, just kind of like halfway, and then just kind of like pull on it. There you go. So now that we've removed those, um, these are the wood, the plastic dowels. So now I removed the four of them, and this is how it pull it. So I bought these at Home Depot. It was a few bucks, not much. So these came with these and they kind of they kind of sit like that. So these are the plastic dowels that go into these four holes. So I just have a little rubber mallet and what I'm going to do is I'm uh kind of like hit them on there. So I kind of put one in there, just to test it out, and it worked fine. Um, grab the mallet, and then just kind of like, you just kind of want to hit it in there, like this, and there you go. So we'll go ahead and do those for the rest, the other two. Oh, and I forgot to explain. Uh, these kind of come in here, so you kind of like have to remove it, because the little, 
like that. And they kind of grab from the back because they're little, they're squared, so it kind of sits in here like that. So let me see if I could get it out of there. And now that we've removed them, now we can go ahead and put them on there. All right, so let's show you how to how to put on this one over here. One more time again, you just put it in there, make sure it's nice and straight. See how it's squared this way? And that's how it's gonna sit. So now let's do the other one. And I went off to the side a little. Let me turn it just a little bit. There we go. And then just tap it in there. So, all right, there you go, and then you're pretty much set. Uh, you don't want to over tighten it because you're gonna you could damage the screw or the plastic uh, dowel. So here we go. Um, put this in here, in here. I'll get it started with this just so. Now we can get it on there. And I'll probably use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten it on there. That way I know how much pressure is going in on there. Let's see. Alright, so now I'm going to tighten it with the screwdriver. It's tight right there. Right there. Right there. So pretty much I already installed it. Um, just put that screw right there. And the same one for the bottom. Now these are going to help you adjust it the door further out in same as this one so you just kind of need to mess with it for example this kind of pushes the door out or in see that so just mess with it and that should be good so that's pretty much how you install these hinges with these uh, plastic dowels and from my understanding um, you could buy them I guess on online Amazon or something for a few of them um, I went to when I went to Home Depot I didn't see any they might be I didn't ask so you know just kind of look around I guess but they're called plastic dowels and if you type in something like uh, kitchen cabinet uh, hinge plastic dowels or something into that reference um, you'll pull them up I'll see if I can pull it up on put them on a link or something or just kind of like a picture so you guys could reference off of it so these are the plastic dowels right here and they just kind of like go in there and that'll be it so uh, thanks for watching and you know see you guys again